before the Wii and the GameCube and the N64 and even before the Super Nintendo came the NES and then came some NES console remakes. Hi, I'm Nick Stop and you're watching Cardboard 8-Bit. With a library of 800 plus games, how could anyone forget this tremendous console? But, after 1995, no more games were made for the NES, thus leaving it forgotten and left behind. But in 2005, Yobo released an FC game console that played your Nintendo games. And it rocked. It played basically every NES game. Uh, except for, like, Gauntlet, T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, I believe, and some other things. But I can't remember them at the moment. Currently, I do not own any games that don't work for it. On that note, I got my uh, Yobo FC game console on August 22nd. Uh, that was the day after my birthday, and I got it as a birthday present. Anyway, so my video game collection has been expanding, my NES collection at least. Um, so far I have a total of about 19 games. Anyway, about the console itself. I myself got the indigo and white color scheme. Um, I didn't choose to, it's all the color they had at the store. Um, and the store, if you're wondering where I got it, I got it at Replay in Toledo, Ohio. They sell a whole bunch of old vintage games. Um, I was thinking of getting a Genesis there, actually. They have a Genesis model, too. Anyway, back to the console review. The controller itself is just plain genius. I mean, let's see. comes with the A and B button in perfect position, um, but the D-pad is awesome. Um, only one of my controllers is defective with it, and, and in that case, it's in Mario that sometimes you just can't go backwards. I don't know. Um, has a slow motion button. If you touch it, it'll blink green and then go back to normal, then blink green really fast. Um, and basically all it does is just keep pausing it, so it's really boring. Um, it has a select button, start button. Uh, every game controller pretty much has that. Um, and turbo A and turbo B, which is really helpful. Like, in Me Mega Man, if you just want to keep shooting without just keep tapping it like really fast, all you have to do is hold down A, um, Turbo A, my bad, and Turbo B, my bad. Um, it, unfortunately, to my knowledge, does not work with the regular NES, but original NES accessories such as the Nintendo Zapper worked perfectly on it. So you could play your favorite Zapper games like Duck Hunt. No! <laughs> The console itself is fairly small. Look how big it is compared to the co uh, actual game. Not very big at all. It's about three NES games. Actually, no, about two and a half NES games. That's about the size. That is what I call quality size. I mean, if you ever want to take it like when you're on a trip, like I did uh, when I went to Kentucky, it is perfect for that. For example, um, the, a uh, the DC input, um, which is basically the AC adapter. Look at it. Look at the AC adapter. It's so small. It weighs like nothing. It fits perfectly into the wall. Uh, let's see. My bad, that was a light. Um, crap. There we go. Anyway, look at it. It's just perfect. Look at this size. Anyway. Plugs into the console very easily. It fits very snug. 
and it works perfectly. So I'm going to plug this in. And it has LED light, which means uh, it lights up whenever you turn it on. And it works, it, it, once again, it works perfectly. Plug the AV cables into the back. And you can find AV cables anywhere, so if you lose them, no problem. And uh, turn on the TV. Put in the game. In this case, we are talking MarioBrothers.com. Stick in a controller. By the way, the perfect controller. It's not perfect, you know, it's great. I mean, it, it actually closely resembles an SNES controller. Turn it on. Select your game. In this case, playing the good old fashioned Mario. And. There you go. Your NES games all snug in one little Yobo FC NES.